Hello my friends, welcome back, it's Troubleshooter, it's episode 37. Now, I was thinking of doing these missions in challenge mode. So what challenge mode does, is it raises the level of all the enemies to match yours. Which is pretty huge, because... At this early phase in the game, leveling is... I say early phase in the game, I mean, probably like 25% of the game's content is done or something like that. Um, you are relying on your level a lot. As opposed to sort of later in the game when you start really refining your gear. Police are here to help me. Okay, that's the wall. We're supposed to be going this way. I guess me Chumida. Fine. <clears throat> the only reason really to put challenge mode on is if you know you don't want to just slaughter your way through early game content. At least for now. Mega Monjada. I'll put them on support mode soon. There he is. That's a lot of dudes. Let's go. Okay. A ranged guy with Berserker, what? <laughs> A ranged guy with Berserker. Ah, good old Fire Veil. How I hate you. I need to pull her out of there. Their weapons are bad, that's why they're not hitting. Oh, 
This is the police. Come out with your hands up. The chat window flashing. I'm not going to open it. <laughs> okay. You never know what's in there. This is the internet. Oh, he's got impulse fields. That son of a Bismarck has impulse fields. Let's put him on support mode while we send the Albus off. Take care of the guy behind me, Fox! You get nothing! Except kicked in the face. She's been pushed down the turn order so much that she's never going to get get out of there. I need to get Elvis down there. Go, oh, she's been stunned. And she's down. I needed to pull her out, but I couldn't because of the, the turn pushback. That's how they get you in this game. It's just being pushed down the turn order constantly. Nice shot. He successfully managed to stun three of his own dudes there. Wrecked. Really need to get my hands on veteran, which prevents stun. Definitely one of the better skills out there. Uh, 
Oh, you got the old bouncy shot. Not yet. I'm tempted to not move simply because it speeds up your turn. I guess I should get into cover. And then there were 16. Stunned and burned. Now, later on in the game, just thinking about this, later on in the game, you reach a point where you get swarmed all the time. And the way to play actually becomes to, um, there are a number of perks that make conceal really powerful. And you will basically just tank the enemy in a corner somewhere while the rest of your party wipes them out. Because they'll get so many turn delay abilities that whoever they're focus firing on will just never get another go. They'll just be pushed down the turn order, like, almost infinitely. Let's put this guy into check. <laughs> and put Wind Veil on. Should keep me alive. At least he's got regen now. He's zone of controlling here, that's why I can't get past. I guess easily. Africa. Oh, he's got impulse. He's got impulse fields. The worst, the worst skill in the game to deal with. Just a complete pain in the ass. Yeah. 
다음은 누구입니까? 모두 상대해 드리겠습니다. 목표 여전히 건재합니다. And then there were 15. Someone just felt the wrath of the police. Hopefully, some of my ultimates will kick off soon. All right, perfect moment for this. Let's go. He's actually nearly maxed out. His ultimate goes in a straight line, so it would slice its way through all of them, which would be quite nice. For now, I just hold position. <clears throat> Clear out the guys behind us first. Oh, apparently I've obtained the pocket watch. I don't know when that happened. Or I could just zap them all. Yes! Hungry! Oh, nice! It's not every day the police just nail somebody. Well, you know, except in America. Oh, spicy! <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, my American friends. <laughs> See, the game's hard, now I'm having fun. <laughs> That's a good position. Actually, technically in cover there. Eight remaining. Nice. The fact that they've got high level doesn't change the fact that these guys have got level 7 equipment. So, in a way, challenge mode can just give you some extra EXP and some extra challenge to play around with. Seven left. This should be easy enough. All right. And another level.
Still haven't gotten that guy behind us yet. Seriously. I didn't see the impulse fields marker there, so I'm not sure how he survived that, but okay. Nice no escape. The man was brollied. After him! Storm Slash. Which it's not going to. Are we there yet? This guy just won't die. He's slowly getting flanked though. Death location, Irene. We don't die in this game, we are merely defeated. I need to win walk up there. And then there were two. No, my double loot has run out. Oh well. Oh, you got wrecked by Am. How dare you? How dare you? 
attack the most adorable heel, heel kit. The adorable med kit. Oh, right. I don't think she's got an offensive ultimate, sadly. Blast him. <coughs> hey! Didn't you get the last hit on like the last three missions? It's pretty good. Irene's motivation took a hit. Okay, apparently we got the pocket watch, so I guess it was just a guy who was carrying it. I didn't see on the map any sort of obvious box that would have contained it. The paydays are coming! Yep, completed. So yeah, challenge mode can get you some levs and make uh, low level missions a little bit more interesting, but it's best for a setup where you've actually got good equipment, which I don't because I've just been pushing through the game. So anyway, it's one of those. Oh, it also gives you random masteries, so you may find masteries that are... Uh, You may find masteries that you've not seen before. And there are a lot to find. Most of this stuff is trash. Trashy McTrash face. Okay, I'm going to call it for now because we are more or less out of time and sometimes these videos get quite long. But we'll plow through more of these missions. I don't know whether I'll do them in challenge mode or just standard mode to plow through them so we can get back to the story. But uh, even the quests have got, you know, their own stories, so I kind of just want to see all the story. That's why I play... That's why I play RPGs, is to see all the story. That's the difference between an RPG, a true RPG, and a tactical game as well. Is it's not just about leveling like crazy, it's also that true RPGs are about the story. Whereas, tactical games are usually about the gameplay. About the the brain, the mental challenge, the 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 deep and profound assessment of what's in here. Whereas not a good RPG just tells a good story. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.